So let's go ahead and try and create this scene very quickly using the Botanica add-on and the Material add-on 5. However you say it, I... Mm. So this is what we've got so far. A simple fence, hopefully a brick wall with some bricks, some grass area here. And then I want to put a nice big tree in the corner here. That's all I'm going for. Nice and simple. Let's bring up Material add-on. Let's go into browse. I want to see if I can find a nice material. Let's click on the Botanica. No, Marco. And so you can see that we've got a whole bunch of HDRIs. Mm, let's go, I don't want a snowy one. I want a nice, let's go a nice bright one like so. Throw that one into there. Into the material nodes, I kind of want a metal. Do we have a painted metal by any chance? I actually haven't done this yet. So I am kind of exploring with you guys. What's this, molded materials, plastic, nah, that's not what I'm after. So, found this colored paint, let's click on that. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go into render settings so we can see what we're looking at. It's a red, looks pretty good. I do wanna change the property a little bit, I want a green, color bond green. For those of you from Australia will understand what I'm saying. That is the viewport color, you clown. This one here. Nice, deep, color bond green. There we go, that is looking like the color. Um, from here, let's transfer that one to this one here. Copy material to selected, beautiful. Now I need kind of like a brushed metal on top. Brettle, brettle, metal. <laughs> let's get rid of painted. And we want probably this one here, looks quite nice. Let's go ahead and select everything else that should be metal. Copy material to selected, nice. From here, let's go ahead and find our brick walls. Back here. Ooh, walls. Nice. Probably this one here. Oh, perfect. Let's grab that one there as well. Copy material to selected. That one and that one. We'll do the same. Copy material to selected. What does that look like? Yep, that's looking pretty good. Fairly happy with that. And uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty much done with that bit. However, let's do our grass. So with the Botanica add-on, I'm gonna go spawn asset. Let's actually, no, 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 no. We're gonna come down into scatter, the plus sign. Flowers, I want grass, and I kind of want basic, I want, I want cut grass. Yes. Let's press okay to that one. Over here in this section, I'm gonna click on that grass. Mm. Misc, we're not really gonna be seeing this one too much. We're not gonna have rocks, weeds. It's gonna have weeds up here. Technically, we're probably not gonna be seeing this as much, but let's go with this. I want a flower bed, flower bed park. And we'll do the same for this one as well. And go okay there. And so if we kind of come into this view, I think we're a little bit too low to the ground. So maybe what we might do is let's just expand that out. And then we'll bring the camera back out. Yeah, nice. That is looking pretty schmick. I think maybe we rotate the HDRI a little bit. So new window over here. Let's go into the shader editor and we'll go into world. All right, where's our rotation? Let's rotate that on the Z axis. Yeah, something like that. That's looking very favorable. Um, I'm gonna get shift right click. And we can go away now. Put something, uh, put our 3D cursor there just for now. Spawn, I'm gonna spawn a nice tree. What do we got? There's carnivorous trees and then there's the other trees which I don't know what the difference is, even though I probably should know. <laughs> so I kind of, if there was a, like a walnut tree. Do they have lemon trees? We do have a lemon tree down here. This hasn't loaded in yet, but that's fine. Let's press OK to that. Ooh, can we scale that puppy up? We sure can. It's a big juicy lemons. <laughs> Something like that. Let's go Shift D and one. I'm just going to duplicate that. Let's just kind of give that a bit of a rotation just to vary it up a little bit. And I might just make it a bit bigger. And if we have a look at that, I think those lemons are a little bit too big. Let's bring them down a smidgen. And I do feel like we do need a tree that's overarching, maybe over the backyard. So let's go into 
one of these trees. Uh, whatever this one is. I like that one. That one looks pretty grouse. Massive tree. Off into the distance. Maybe a little bit further. We can see that we've got some plants poking through here. I'm just going to move them over a little bit because they're not so important to be sticking through there. Lovely, nice tree in the background. Let's just set up our camera. I am going to come into the camera here, perspective, turn that to panoramic. Let's go into a 50 mil, 30 mil, 40 mil. Nice, let's go ZZ. Something like that. I really do wouldn't mind having something here in the background, but that's a future marker problem. We'll do that a little bit later. Depth of field. I'm just going to make sure I click on the lemon tree. Control S to save F12. And uh, just like that, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Subscribe.